In this video, we'll discuss how to replace a broken drive and repair the RAID array on a TerraStation 5000 class product. This same process works for the majority of other TerraStations as well. So what we have here is a TerraStation that's already in RAID degrade mode. It happens to be a RAID 1 unit, but for the purpose of this video, it doesn't matter whether it's RAID 1 or RAID 5 when we're replacing a single disk. Um, what I also have here is a replacement disk um, of the same capacity and this disk is completely uh, wiped. It has no partitions on it just like you'd get from a warranty replacement or if you purchased a new one. It is important to use uh, uh, completely free drives uh, that way if we put, put it in there we're not worried about losing any data. So to start this process, uh, which is very easy, is we'll go ahead and open the door uh, and in this particular case the drive is already missing. Uh, it is reported by a red light here that this is the disk that's bad. So if there was a disk in there and this is the red one, that would be indicative of which one is bad. Uh, also at the LCD, it'll say uh, HD2 is broken. Please replace it. And we'll do that. We can do that while it's on uh, by inserting the new drive in. Um, and it will do a self-test and power it on. And that'll take a few minutes. And what we'll see is the uh, LCD display uh, shelt. Uh, turn blue, uh, the info light will stay uh, orange because the RAID array is uh, still broken. But this can take anywhere from 30 to 60 seconds, or sometimes a little bit less. So now we have the light blinking red. We've gone to blue. Um, I'll actually zoom in on the display so we can see what it says. But it'll cycle through. Uh, it's still obviously in a broken RAID array. But it says new disk 2 is ready. Press the fu function switch, which is this button right here. So we'll go ahead and do that. And here we can see it says Array 1 Rebuilding. Actually, it can cycle through faster, and it's self-checking. And if I zoom out, we can see that uh, Disk 2 light is green now, meaning that the drive is inserted, and that'll actually happen before uh, the RAID array is complete. Now, this orange light will remain on uh, until the RAID array uh, is completely restructured, and that takes a long time. These are two terabyte drives, and it has to do bit by bit. You can log into the web UI uh, and, and fix that, uh, but here you can see that without IT or, or administrative access to the, uh, to the console, uh, any user could insert a new drive, uh, wait a few moments, press the function button, and then wait to see this Array 1 uh, rebuilding. And that's it. That's how you replace a drive in a uh, TerraStation 5000.